People often wonder where seafarers get fresh water on board. Fresh water primarily for washing the dishes, washing clothes, water to drink, and water to shower. Some of my friends even ask me if we buy fresh or potable water during our stays in ports. Some even ask if we use seawater to wash our clothes. Well, do you have an idea where? Hello there! My name is Sean and I'm a third assistant engineer on board a crude oil tanker type of ship. In this video, you will see how us seafarers produce fresh water on board. And where do we use this fresh water? But before we proceed to the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So now, let's change to our coveralls and let's go to the engine room. We're now in the engine control room. This is like the command center of the engine room. This is where we monitor uh, the pumps, generators, compressors, every machinery that is in the engine room, outside of the engine room. Uh, this is where we monitor their pressure, their parameters, their temperature, everything that we need to see, we need to watch out for. We all find it here in the engine control room. But enough of this, in a few moments, we'll be going out to the deck where the machinery responsible for producing fresh water is located. Uh, let me warn you that it is noisy here in the engine room, so I'll put on my earplugs here. <laughs> and then let's go! Normally, 
the boiling point of water is at 100 degrees Celsius. So here's the trick. In line with the seawater pump that we ran a while ago, we have an ejector. This ejector is responsible for decreasing the atmospheric pressure inside the freshwater generator. If we decrease the atmospheric pressure inside the freshwater generator, we can boil seawater at lower temperature. Hence, that's the simple principle behind the freshwater generator. So now, we would wait for the pressure inside the freshwater generator to drop the vacuum pressure. After obtaining the required vacuum pressure, we can now open the feed water valve to the evaporator. As I mentioned a while ago, inside with the seawater pump, the injector. After the injector, some of the seawater will go through this pipe here into the feed water valve into the evaporator where we will take the vaporize. Then, most of the seawater will go the condenser where it would condense the said vaporized seawater. So we will now open the inlet and outlet valves coming from the wasted heat energy coming from the main engine. We must open this valve slowly to avoid thermal shock in both the freshwater generator and the main engine. Upon opening the in and outlet valves coming from the main engine, we need to close and regulate this bypass valve to regulate the heat energy coming from the main engine and also to regulate the temperature of the fresh water burner. After applying heat, we will now be able to see fresh water being produced. For a bit of information, upon evaporation of the seawater at the evaporator, the seawater vapor passes through a demister, which filters these salty vapors. This demister is responsible for reducing the salt content of the fresh water produced. We were not able to see this demister because we need to remove this top cover of the fresh water generator to be able to see the demister inside the freshwater generator and freshwater applications vary from ship to ship but primarily it is used for drinking purposes hygiene purposes washing the dishes washing clothes cleaning the deck cleaning the engine room cleaning the accommodation fresh water is also used as feed water to the boiler where it is vaporized to steam and this steam is then used for various purposes so i think that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next one